A buffer is a solution that resists change in pH upon addition of acidic or basic components. In this investigation, we will explore the concept of pH and the use of buffers to minimize fluctuations in pH. In the first activity, students examine buffer effectiveness at different pH levels. The second activity is an analysis of how the concentration of a buffer changes its effectiveness. Turn the jelly tray so that it has four rows by five columns. Use the grease pencil to label the wells of the jelly tray. Label the rows A, B, C, and D. Label the columns 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This labeling scheme provides a unique alphanumeric identification number for Use the grease pencil to label the two test tubes, 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide and 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. Label two, one milliliter graduated dropper pipettes, 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid and 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. Label four, three milliliter graduated dropper pipettes, water, pH four, pH six, and pH 8. Label the 250 milliliter beaker distilled water. Add approximately 100 milliliters of distilled water to the 250 milliliter beaker and add the water dropper pipette to the container. Calculate the volume of one molar sodium hydroxide needed to prepare 12 milliliters of a 0.1 molar solution. Prepare this solution. Calculate the volume of one molar hydrochloric acid needed to prepare 12 milliliters of a 0.1 molar solution and prepare this solution. Add two milliliters of water to each well in row A. Add two milliliters of sodium phosphate buffer pH 4 to each well in row B. Add two milliliters of pH buffer 6 to each well in row C. Add two milliliters of pH buffer 8 to each well in row D. Use two drops of Bogan's Universal Indicator to each well. Gently swirl the solutions while resting the tray on the table. Match the color of the solution in the first well to the Bogan's Universal Indicator color chart to determine the pH and record this pH in data table one. In the second well of each row, column two, add one drop of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid using the designated dropper pipette. Gently swirl the solutions, record the resulting pH of each solution in data table one. In the third well of each row, add 10 drops of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid, again recording the corresponding pH in data table one. In the fourth well of each row, column four, add one drop of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. Gently swirl the solution while resting the tray on the table. Record the pH of each solution in data table one. In the fifth well of each row, column five, add 10 drops of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide, again recording pH in data table one. Empty and rinse the tray. Make sure the buffer, empty and rinse the tray. Make sure the buffer solutions are sealed. Save the water, hydrochloric acid, and sodium hydroxide solutions, and the dropper pipettes for use in the next activity. Add six milliliters of distilled water to the test tube labeled 
50%. Add 9 milliliters of distilled water to the test tube labeled 25%. Add 10 milliliters of distilled water to the test tube labeled 12.5%. Add 6 milliliters of sodium phosphate buffer pH 6 to the test tube labeled 50%. Add 3 milliliters of pH 6 buffer to test tube labeled 25%. Add 1.5 milliliters of pH 6 buffer to the test tube labeled 12.5%. Add 2 milliliters of 100% undiluted pH 6 buffer to each well of row A. Add two milliliters of 50% buffer to each well in row B. Add 2 milliliters of 25% buffer to each well in row C. Add 2 milliliters of 12.5% buffer to each well of row D. Add two drops of Bogan's universal indicator to each well and gently swirl the solutions while resting the tray on the table until the color in the well is uniform. Record the pH of the solution in the first well of each row in data table 2. Add one drop of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide to the second well of each row, column 2. Add two drops of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide to column 3. Add four drops of sodium hydroxide to each well of column 4. Add 8 drops of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide to each well of column 5. Gently swirl the solutions while resting the tray on the table until the color in each well is uniform. Record the pH in data table 2. Dispose of the solutions down the drain with the water running. 
Allow the faucet to run a few minutes to dilute the solutions. Rinse and dry the lab equipment and return the materials to your equipment kit. Sanitize the workspace.